Well, good morning. It is uh, Saturday morning right now. And just a quick announcement here. There will not be any sermons for this weekend. I had a very busy week and um, a bunch of things came up unexpectedly and it kind of threw off my schedule a little bit. I have my sermon notes written out, but there's just not going to be enough time. I don't want to push these sermons because they're very important. Uh, I did spend some time and I got the very big study done that I've been talking about. All the notes are done now and it's going to take me probably, I have no idea how long, probably it's five different sermons and then an introductory sermon, so six sermons, and each one's probably going to be maybe two hours long or something, It's except for the introductory sermon. Um, so there's that. I've uh, been struggling a lot with allergies and um, actually going this morning to get some mullen leaf. Um, mullen is a plant that's a, it's an herb and uh, so been studying that and they they say that mullen leaf is actually very good for allergies asthma type of thing so we're going to be trying that no idea if it works or not but that's the whole point you get sick or you get some kind of a thing wrong with it and you look into what God provides for natural health and then you go and you try it so I'm anxious to try this whole thing I killed a mosquito on my finger and uh, speaking of herbs Right behind me here you see these kind of pink flowers, you know, sticking up. That's called fireweed. And uh, fireweed, um, the Russians make a tea out of it, out of the fermented leaves, and they call it even chai. And if you're from Russia, you would understand what that is. It's very popular over there. And we made some last year, and it's incredible stuff. I mean, really good. And what you do is you take the leaves from it, and you... Um, you can just pluck them right off of the plant. It's pretty easy. And then you put them through a meat grinder and it kind of smashes them and, and crumbles them up into, you know, smaller pieces. And then you put that someplace to let that ferment and it turns basically black. And then after that you dry it and then it lasts you for the whole year. So um, we've been drinking a lot of even chai tea. Really good uh, for a lot of different things health-wise. Um, so, but, uh, I just want to say this one thing about the whole thing of allergies, seasonal allergies from pollen or dust or whatever else. It's an immune deficiency. Again, I've been studying this thing now for a little while here. It's an immune deficiency and you hear of the thing of, um, uh, histamine. Histamine is what your body uh, produces to fight this these foreign particles that come in and what happens is when you are sneezing and your eyes itch and your you know your nose is running and the whole deal and you break out into hives and whatever else that's your body producing that as a way to get rid of the pollen that's in your body um, it's not some kind of a oh no horrible process just the same thing with vomiting or diarrhea or other things like that or a fever it's your body, God created your body to eliminate toxins. And they have, uh, you know, medication and whatever else. You know, Big Pharma, what they do is they say, well, those things are unpleasant. Um, you know, the allergies, having allergies and sneezing and everything else is unpleasant. So therefore, we'll make a histamine blocker. They basically are blocking a natural reaction in your body. And, oh, hey, I don't have the symptoms anymore. Yeah, but then you still have the things in your body. Your body says, I need to get rid of this. It's just insane when you really understand the whole medical thing and how it's so contrary to what God created. Um, so I have no idea if this tea is going to work. There's a couple other uh, types of herbal teas that you can take to help with you know, boosting your immune system to handle foreign particles and things. So, anxious to go try it. I'm anxious to go try anything that uh, God creates. I'm not interested in trying things that man creates. Um, so we're going to be heading out here and uh, go get some medicine. <laughs> some medicine that's uh, from the Lord. Um, and I suggest you do the same if you start to feel sick. And remember, if you have some kind of a allergic reaction type of a thing. It's your body naturally responding to 
something foreign than it needs to get out. Uh, don't fight that process. God created that thing. It'd be similar to saying, I don't like the smell of exhaust on my vehicle, so I'm just going to plug the exhaust up or something. <laughs> exhaust blocker, you know, well, that would be a bad idea. Uh, your vehicle has to get rid of exhaust. You have to get rid of toxins out of your body. So stay away from big pharma. Um, find ways to treat things naturally. And, you know, people write me and, you know, I have this thing wrong with me and whatever else, what do I do? Well, sometimes I can help, sometimes I can't. I haven't studied everything. I'm not a expert on the, in the whole thing, in the field of herbology. Get it? Herbs grow in fields. But, uh, you know, you just try things. Experiment. That's the whole point. Uh, get your health in check. Don't eat a bunch of junk food and whatever else. And, and um, you know, you can heal up pretty quickly. So, uh, we will see here. I'll probably get the studies done this coming week sometime. And they should be out for next weekend. So, sorry about that. But just had a whole bunch of stuff come up. And um, so we will see you in the next study. Thank you for watching. Thank you to everybody out there for your support and your friendship. And uh, stay close to the Lord. Stay co close to his word. That will be it.